good day, everybody. John Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Rumble, back again with you today. We're looking at the original Club Tales Bahama Mama 10% ABV. Uh, this is contained 10% alcohol by volume, malt beverage with natural flavors, certified colors, and caramel color. Okay. Uh, Club Tales Company, Lavo, Quebec, Canada, product of Quebec Fully Royale, reported by Glasgow Beverage Company. It's a company, Rochester, New York. I'm um, looking at their website. Um, I do a lot of malt beverages and different things, but all at very, for the cheap or inexpensive. I mean, sold out for inexpensive for folks who want to get ripped. Kind of the same people thought about. Um, like, I guess, the same way so folks think about Thunderbird or maybe uh, Mad Dog, MD 2020, or uh, Wild Irish Rose, even though they are made by big conglomerates, but they do expensive high-end stuff, but also inexpensive stuff. So, you know, everything for the masses. So you can't go without, no matter what your economic or situation is, everyone deserves to have a nice little beverage to feel good, as they say. And it was like Carl Rossi with his wines, you know, hey, I love talking about my wines, make sure my wines are affordable. Why, if you can't taste the difference, why pay the difference? So, having wines that are inexpensive for every working man, working lady can sample the good stuff. So, same in this case. Boom. All right. Um, also, you see a lot in this store, the Bahama Mama, as well as they do uh, the Long Island Iced Tea, Sex on the Beach, whatever. And also that little small little bootlegger stuff. You probably see it in the grocery stores. You know, the little small, look like whiskey, but it's all little bootleg stuff. It's kind of cheap. I had it once. I had to spit it out. I thought, mm. So, I'm going to try this. Um, we know now the popularity, flavored beers, fruit flavored beers. I guess you could say it's a full favorite malt beverage. Um, you're competing, as I said, with the the beer company. You're competing with the white wine crowd. You know, with the success, I guess the success of the Budweiser Rita line that came out, I believe, was in 2008, 2007, 2008. This is right after the merger Anheuser Busch had with um, when it was sold. And as Bush was bought out by InBev back in 2008, uh, the Rita line had came out, the Bud Light Rita line, of course, the Straw Rita, Lima Rita, Mango Rita, all those flavored beers. So there's been a heavy competition by a lot of these other companies to kind of say, let's start doing more of these. We've seen the success. You look at the top 20 beers being sold. I think the Rita line by Anheuser Busch InBev is, I think, like number 19 or 18. So it's doing very well. Profit wise for uh, AB and Bev. So, other uh, companies have seen this and said, well, let's jump on the bandwagon. So, um, I don't know how long this company has been in existence, but I'm sure it's probably been in existence probably for some time now. Um, but you've seen this, and then if you want to go back way before Seagram's or the Bartles and James, you know, the wine cooler crowd, you know. And also, you're competing with the white wine crowd as well, you know, who love, you know, the Chardonnays and the, and the uh, whatnot. The apple cider crowd now, that's who they're all competing with, you know, for that, you know. Hey, we don't like beer, but you still like those mixed drinks, you know. But, you know, here we can give you something that tastes just as good, but you won't have to pay a fortune. Yeah. Or you could do whatever you want with it, however you serve it. You can freeze it, shake it, do whatever, you know, mix it with something, whatever kind of how it goes, right, so, immediately I get the center of that booze right off the bat, I mean, it is like, psh, right at the nose, yeah, it's raw, raw to the taste. Whoa. 
Yeah, I find this probably better when it's frozen. Um, really, really, really cold. Like I said, I put, I've had this in the refrigerator for about maybe an hour now. And, um, man, this is cold. It needs to be cold. Imagine how it would be if it's warmed up, man. Whew. Well, like I said, it's a premium cocktail, right? Premium. But definitely the orange and the citrus flavors are there. Tropical f f flavors, I guess, orange, grapefruit, uh, maybe some tangerine, maybe mango flavor, pineapples, you know, some cherries, whatever, all that different foot some pineapples, cherries I mentioned. Um, it was a dollar forty four I saw it for the sixteen ounce can at pay for more store, careers cash saver, bought this at, at I'm sure you probably see it at many locations, but mm. maybe if it's really frozen, maybe it'll probably do better for me. Because right now, it's kind of really not sitting well, all that well with me right now. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, so strawberry, cherry, and citrus. Citrus, you know, orange, tangerine, you know, grapefruit, all that stuff, so. Again, if you're not a beer drinker or if you are a beer drinker but you don't want to drink beer but you want something that's going to give you that sort of feel-good thing, then this would be probably be for you. Um, yeah. I mean, maybe I'll, I'll probably sip this tonight, but probably be better if it's frozen. It is still cold, still has that flavor, but, you know, it's okay. I mean, would you want to mix this with a, with a add to a cocktail? Maybe again, the 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 the, the giveaway again is cheap, is inexpensive, a lot of booze. Um, you know, if you're looking for something to kind of make you feel good, make you feel relaxed and, and at ease, then this would be something that I would say, yeah, go ahead and get this. But I don't know. It's interesting to say the least. Let's put it that way. Um, so um, I'm gonna go, um, won't go on with this. Um, again, as I told you, what who what this this is competing with um, the white wines and whatnot. But if you're yeah, and what what can you pair this with? I don't know. Nachos come to mind. Something really spicy. Something really this would be it for you, but, you know, again, you're not going to break the bank with this at all. Um, I mean, how much would they sell it by the case? I don't know how they sell it by the case, but if they do, but, yeah, so, uh, Club Tales, Bahama Mama, and I'm sure there's other brands. You got the Sony Margarita, Ice Tea, um, what else they have out right there? The Screwdriver. 10%, if you're looking for something that you want that nice island flavor, you want that nice cocktail flavor, and if you can't afford a Steel Reserve, I also say, Steel Reserve also does a flavor, the alloy flavored malt liquors, but I'm, I tried one in the strawberry flavor, and I had to pour it down the can, pour it down the drain, I said, no, I, I ain't doing this. <clears throat> Steel Reserve 211 is fine by itself, but the flavored, I, no. This... Yeah, um, I'm going to be okay with this. I'm going to go with a, for this and what the style is, not overall, just like, but for the style is, I will go B minus. Again, the Rita line is a lot better in my opinion, but if you're not willing to break the bank, you know, this is a good alternative. So I would say B minus, so that would be a eight. A 7.9, 7.8, between an 8, 7.8 to 
to an 8.0 score. B minus for me for the Club Tales, Bahama Mama, and again, the other flavors that you may see probably will be the same. You know, again, trying things differently. You know, I got to be different, you know. Different is good sometimes, right? I agree. Jean Henderson Pierre, The Beverage Ramble. To keep on watching, always cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Bahama Mama, Bahama Mama. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah.